Hey there YouTube, this is Rob here, bringing you another Let's Play. This time I'll be playing the arcade classic shoot 'em up Arrow Fighters. Which I believe, I don't know who made the arcade version, I know SNK continues the later ones. By the way, I hope you like the new title sequence I put up. It's kind of a temporary thing until we can get a full animated one here. So let me just jump right in. I don't remember what country, what kind of characters belong to each country in this one. I'm gonna play as Ninja because I don't remember if the dolphin from the later ones is in this one or not. I guess we'll see. I should warn, uh, I do have one cheat activated right now. It's rapid fire because I'm going to be hitting my buttons a hell of a lot otherwise. It's the only cheat, though. I also warn this game is fucking hard. Uh, it doesn't look it right now, but the game gets very bullet hell later on. I'm decent at Daimaku shooters, but definitely not what I'd call great. I'm carrying fucking power up. Man, just the fact that I'm playing an airplane shooting ninja stars alone makes this game awesome, don't you think? But anyhow, yeah, I probably will play through the rest of the series over time as well. I don't have, I don't know if I have all of them, but I do have, uh, Part 2 and 3 on Kanax, my Neo Geo emulator. Now the shitty thing about those ones, from my, from my knowledge, is that there is no rapid fire cheat option, so yeah, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh, old airplanes here, stealth bombers. Whew, thought that one was gonna get me. If I go quiet, by the way, I do apologize. Uh, I sometimes tend to zone out when I'm playing top-down shooters, especially ones that do get bullet hell. I will try to limit how often I silence myself, though, which means I'm probably going to die more than I would play or would during personal play. But fuck it, it's a sacrifice I have to make for entertainment. Fuck! All right, well I'm going to throw off a bomb just so I can grab that power up. I always tend to do that from against a boss. I'll sacrifice. The one of my bombs f uh, in order to retain the power up and deal damage with the boss. I probably should use my bombs more intelligently, you know, to save myself from getting shot, but I usually don't realize I'm going to run into an enemy bullet until it's too fucking late, on the most part. Alright, your mission, destroy the out-of-control unmanned bomber. Awesome, I like that they pretty much point out that I'm not going to be killing anyone well, I destroy those bosses on men, as opposed to the reckless sla ninja star slaughter. I'm kidding. Unless these are unmanned tanks and turrets and planes I'm shooting, which I highly doubt. That looks like a very Russian-looking building that is like a huge, is like a cannon machine. That's crazy. Oh, god damn it! Oh, got two power-ups here. Yes. One thing I love about a lot of these top-down shooters, the later ones, is when you die. You get, you at least get one power up uh, as soon as you die, so you don't start at minimum power. Also, I'm glad this game understands that kunai are, are more powerful than shuriken. Shuriken are pretty shitty as far as weapons go. They're, they're good distraction tools. That's about it. Fucking hell! Look at that, first game over already. Well, might as well drop, throw a bomb seeing I'm picking one up for free. Man, I wish the items would come down to me more often, so it'd make me chase them. Oh, there's the unmanned bomber. Look at this shit, this isn't even bullet hell yet, and there's already a ton of bullets on screen at any given time. Also, so glad for rapid fire. Oh uh, shit, I played through, uh, I did an unrecorded playthrough of the second Arrow Fighters recently, where I didn't have auto fire. Holy shit, my thumbs were, god damn it! Or Thor, or sore by the end of it. Okay, let me bomb the stealth bomber. Oh wow, that. And I am sorry that I'm playing way shittier than I usually would. I'm normally, at least marginally, better at these kind of games. Your mission: investigate the incident at the hidden base. The hidden base of my team? How do? If it's hidden, how do I know where to find it? How do we know there's an incident? These are the questions I ask. Hard-hitting, investigative reporter-style questions, to be sure.
I also wonder why this music has a, I don't know, it's orchestrated, but it has a bit of a Wild West flair to it at times. Like, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> hey, I'm not complaining. Overall, this is a great game. One of those games I would, uh, unlike my last, fuck! My last playthrough, Knights of the Round, you know, classic game that I've played in my childhood. This is the kind of game I wish I had played when I, when I was younger. Shit! I remember when I was a kid, all the top-down shooters were a lot slower paced. You know, I had like 1942 and Xevious. For some reason, I do a lot better with uh, these shooters where there's, a, where there's just like a lot of crazy shit going on at the same time. I don't know, I think it, focus, it forces me to focus and concentrate better. Well, that, and I know the hitboxes are... Wow, that sucked. The hitboxes are usually a lot more generous. I, I gotta set redund redundantly to give me six credits whenever I continue. Wow! I didn't even see that bullet, I was just trying to repeatedly score the power-up. Oh, that wasn't even the boss, awesome. But yeah, no, for some reason, I, I, I think it's because there's so much shit going on at once, I tend to zone out and focus a lot better when I'm playing a Don Maku sh bullet hell style shooter than I am while I fucked myself over there. Yeah, look, let's come down here, power up. God, don't just shot. Wow. Again, like I said earlier, my ability to focus and talk at the same time is going to come into conflict. Destroy the secret weapons of the dictator. Man, this is a good little rock and soundtrack, though. Not quite as rocking as my uh, choice of intro music. Should mention that. Ah. Ooh, a full power up when I continue. To mention for those of you that didn't recognize the intro music, which is probably a lot of people, that would be the industri German industrial rock band KMFDM. Fuck! So their track Apathy off of the Masterpiece X Tour. Uh, if you like, if you like hard rock, if you like electronic music, if you want to see both them fused together, I can like well, definitely recommend KMFDM in general and the X Tour album in, as a whole. A lot of those albums have just changed my life as far as how I viewed music. Up at that point, my, my industrial music had pretty much confined to Nine Inch Nails, so yeah. Not that I'm putting down Nine Inch Nails at all. Yeah, here I am playing an awesome top-down shooter and I'm talking about music. Fuck! It's a little lesson about myself. I am, among many things, a music nut. Absolutely love it. Listen to it all I as much as I can. Oh, I walked right into that one, didn't I? Yeah. I swear, I'm a lot better at these when I'm not talking. Though maybe not a lot, but I'm a little bit better at these when I'm not talking. Fuck! Hey, this is nuts. Did you see the, uh, the Toho games? Japanese bullet hell shooters are just... I swear to God, you can't see what's going on on the screen at some points. That's because... This is a nightmare of bullets. Well, I suppose that's where bullet hell co the term bullet hell comes from. Ah, had to come from somewhere, right? Oh yeah! Fuck you, massive tank thing! My mission? Destroy the fleet that caused the rebellion? What? So, yeah, that's one thing I love about this game. Absolutely no story whatsoever. Apparently, a rebellion was caused by, strictly by, a naval fleet. Fuck! I can't imagine that rebellion could have been too successful if it was done entirely by boat. Oh, god damn it, I'm just getting my ass hit. Hand to me here, so for the burp, guys. Oh, I gotta concentrate a little more while trying to be entertaining. Why did I choose this game again? <laughs> Oh, besides the fact that it's awesome, and I highly recommend it to anyone that has the patience to sit down with a top-down shooter. Fuck. Well, at least it's not Gradius 3 hard. That game is brutal. Fuck. The worst thing is there's people out there that like are way better at these kind of games than I am that probably mock my playstyle and probably go through this a hell of a lot easier than I can. But hey. And I say, I'm a role-playing guy. I play role-playing games and fighting games mostly. 
Top down shooters are just, uh, oh. They're fun, I love playing them, but they're not my forte, if you will. Oh, that, that was, I was just asking for that one, YouTube. I was just like, please kill me, I will even line myself up with a bullet. Oh. Wow. I'm almost going to be, if, if not for the fact that I have very little uh, self-consciousness now, you know, I'm not very self-conscious and ashamed of things, I would almost be ashamed to post this. I'm doing so poorly. Well, at least I got, uh, you know, an infinite supply of credits here. Alright, so when I f pick up next time, my mission will be to stop the takeover caused by the military. Shitty military if they're causing a takeover. Alright, thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the intro. I hope you stick with us and keep watching the great products we put out. Have a good day, everyone.